Hello there, this is Deborah, and today, um, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be making a soap, and I named that soap Roller Swirl, and as we get further down, you will see why. Now, I've made this before, but it didn't come out right the first time, and I'm, I'm back to see if I can get it right this time. Now, I'm doing it the heated transfer method here today, and what that is, that's uh, basically not having to have any certain temperature just make your lye get it ready and pour it over into your unmelted oils and the lye water solution will melt your oils so I really like this method it works out really good um, I know I've been missing in action but a lot of things have been going on lost a few close friends some very special people uh, at least one very special person and um, just left me a little down, but I'm back to handle my business here today. So uh, with further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just let this video speed up a little bit. And I will come back and talk to you in and out of the video. Thank you.
taking it out of the mold. So um, I did end up putting on top some uh, some sea salt with some gold mica and glitter to give it just a little more of a that look. <laughs> okay. Now I don't have a log splitter here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down the middle. I'm not probably don't have it even, but hopefully it'll be all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this in the middle here and then put it on my soap cutter and see what design we have underneath. Da 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 da. <laughs> Never know what's under there. Okay, this is a little bit harder than I'm thinking here. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Okay. I wasn't quite sure exactly how I wanted to cut this to try to get that design. Okay, this is like the last one I did. I don't really want that look. I mean, that looks okay, but I'm really trying to see the rollers. The in, I really want to see that. This is basically what I had when I first did one before, when I used the rollers before, and I cut it on this angle. So I really need to... I don't know why I didn't cut this in fours, and then it probably would have been a lot easier for me to um, cut. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't thinking about it that way. I wasn't sure which way I was going to actually cut it. That was another reason. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one to see what it looks like and decide from there because that's not the design I was hoping to get. And I believe it's in there hidden somewhere in that soap. <laughs> it's all about the way you cut it. Yeah, that's just a little taste of it there yeah it's all about if you cut the soap a certain way you should be able at least I should be able to get that design I was looking for it's in there somewhere it's in this soap someplace I'm just gonna clean this out a little bit got a lot of um, the sea salt all over the place here <laughs> maybe I should have not put the sea salt top I'm not sure <laughs> we shall see but I wanted to do something because it looks so plain Okay, see, this is not the look that I'm looking for. It's not bad, but I'm really looking for more round. Looks like circles. That's what I'm thinking. And if I keep cutting it this way, I'm not going to get it. So I need to figure out something else here. Let's see. Just cut this one here. <sighs> no. I'm just going to go ahead and split it again down the center to see if I can get what I was shooting for. Because that was the reason I wanted to use the hair rollers. Because I really wanted to get a different look there. Let's see. Let's see. How am I going to do that? Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe I should use a smaller one because this is a. They're not cut even. This was a little bit taller. Let's see. I know if I split it down the middle, I'm gonna get what I get. So, <laughs> but I'm just trying to think. Is there another way to cut this? So, let me just try the smaller one there. Cut it down the center and see what I'm going to get because like I said I really am shooting for the roller shape of the shape of the rollers and I don't think that was really what I was shooting for the first time I made this I didn't bother to split it down the middle to see what was inside I just went ahead and cut it and I was a little disappointed in the way it looked from all that work with those hair rollers <laughs> so hopefully I should get a good a different design when this is split down the middle here. We shall see. Can always hope. <laughs> but surely that design, that pattern is somewhere. I mean, 
with me putting the uh, soap in the rollers like that it has to have a different design oh there we go there it is okay um, that feel, I feel better <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's what I was hoping for was basically more of the round, the different layers of the soap, the colors. So that's it. That's perfect. That's, I couldn't ask for anything better because although my soap's quite not measured as good as it should be, but it's okay. This soap will not, this is going to be for gifts. So it's going to be fine. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit off there to see what's going on there yeah that's a little too small that's gonna make a nice little guest soap there so cut it just a little bit bigger there to see what we got there oh yeah that's much better <laughs> so once I clean the soap up and you know trim this the sides and everything it's going to be really pretty. I really like this pattern. And this Daisy Dream Girl fragrance oil smells so good. Once again, that's by B. Senate. I will put in the description area where I purchased this. Yeah, I really like this so much better. And with the uh, gold um, sea salt on top, it's not bad. It's really pretty. My camera just not picking it up as pretty as it really is. So I'm really pleased with this soap. And hopefully... Um, I can get some more videos going here. Uh, like I said, I lost a dear friend, my little buddy. She was about 89 years old. And her name was, I call her Miss Roseanne Meisenheimer. I call her Miss Roseanne. I really miss her. She was, oh my goodness. She's just the sweetest lady. Oh, I just love her. And I do miss her. And I know her family probably really misses her a lot. She uh, basically, I went to work for her, and after she went to the convalescent, we continued to be friends. Uh, we would go up and play, I would go up and play uh, bingo with her and go up, and then when she got really, what, it was too hard for her, she didn't really want to eat, sometime I would feed her. I just loved that lady. You know, she was like a mom away from home. You know, every time I would love up on her, I would think about my own mother and not being there for her. But I was really honored to be, to have such a sweet friend as this lady were to me and my husband. My husband's actually family member to her daughters. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm really pleased with this soap. And uh, hopefully I can get back on, get my mojo back going here and get going. Okay, I do see a lot of the colors that I had put in, so I'm really pleased with that. So for me, it was just a matter of splitting it down the middle to see what was inside of the soap to see if I could pull the colors that I was really hoping for. Because I, you know, I was thinking, what design? What good is putting the hair rollers if it's not going to give it a different design? I mean, come on now, that was a waste. That would be a waste of time, but it worked out really good there. So I can see where uh, the circles that I was shooting for, where they are. And that's a good feeling. When you make soap, you just never know how it's going to turn out. And when it turns out good, like a little kid here, you get excited. So it's really pretty. Like I said, this, these are going to be some soaps I'm going to give for gifts. Because when I weigh them out, they're all not going to be weighed out the same. Because they're cut uneven. So don't be surprised if I don't, don't be surprised if I said, hey, I got a bar of soap for you here. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Yeah, these are really pretty. It smells so good. Uh, I don't really have a lot of Christmas soaps. I do have a few things I'm working on, but um, basically they're already done, actually. I, I didn't make videos of them. But I hope you guys go over and check out the website and make some purchases here. The holidays are just around the corner, and it is free shipping until the end of November. And that's coming up next week. Uh, we got the next, actually, so you want to catch that. Okay, let's see here. I was going to show, okay, this is what it looks like before it was split it down the middle. And it is okay, but it's not what I was shooting for. 
So I'm really happy that I did get uh, the design that I was hoping for. And I'm really grateful. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I hope you go over and check out the website. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Okay, this is it. Thank you so much. Have an awesome and a blessed day. Bye now.